The tracking settings are controlled under the Tracker tab. These settings tell the software how many markers to expect, how quickly the markers may be moving, and how much of a gap fill to use in the event markers go missing. Let's now record some data and see how the 3D data is calculated and displayed. After recording, we're automatically taken to the dynamic 3D view where we can rotate, pan, and zoom around this area. On the bottom right, we have the information tab where we can view the details of the file. In the process tab, we can define local coordinate systems by specifying markers in a particular order. We also have the marker table, which is used to label the markers. Let's label one marker by selecting the marker in the dynamic view or the segment list, holding down the control button, and selecting the marker in the marker list. If we want to label consecutively listed markers, we highlight the marker name, hold down the alt and control buttons, and select the markers in the 3D view. We can now easily modify the colors and names of each marker.